Number four, parametric differentiation. Use parametric differentiation to find dy by dx in terms of t. Because x is expressed as a function of t, y is expressed as a function of t. Well, that means that dx by dt, it would have to be, would be log is 1 over, so that's 1 plus 1 over 1 plus t squared, multiplied by the derivative of that, which I can pop on top, which is 2t. dy by dt is log. Differentiating the log would be 1 over 1 plus the function it's acting on, 1 plus 2t squared, multiplied by the derivative of it, but I could just pop that on top here, which is 4t. Then, if I want dy by dx, then I could say, well, I've got dy by dt, so multiplying that by dt by dx will give me dy by dx. So dy by dt, 4t over 1 plus 2t squared, dt by dx, or something like that, reversed. That would be the reciprocal of it. So 1 plus t squared over 2t. So I've got dy by dx will be, that will cancel out leaving a 2 on top, 2 times 1 plus t squared over 1 plus 2t squared. And I'll just leave that top part factorised. A fairly quick and painless three marks.